Hello everyone, this is E.V. Mondo coming again with another episode in our 1979 MG Midget. Let's talk about MG Midget tonight. So what are we going to talk about today? The batteries of our 1979 MG Midget installed on the car. But before we talk about that, the other day, about three days ago, I uploaded a video showing you how it was full of snow out here in Kansas about three days ago but today do you know what the weather was 74 degrees that is what the weather was today 74 degrees is it not weird here in Kansas so if you are not careful out here in Kansas you can get sick just because of the way the weather changes the weather changes like a keys the weather can change at any time, just like a case. So, let's take a look on our 20 packs being installed at the rear of the curl. And we are going to talk about the features of this curl. First of all, uh, some people ask me how to make a video showing how I actually discharge my individual cells. But next week, I'm going to be making a video showing you guys how I actually test the capacity of my individual sales so that people who do not uh, know how to do it or who are just curious will learn how to do that. I know um, uh, my friend Jeho Garcia also put up a video on how he tests his individual cells how to discharge them and uh, if you haven't seen it but take a look on my videos next week you're gonna see how it is being done it is exactly how he does it and i think that's the, the right way to do it but what are we talking about today we i i spent time today um and last week trying to wire up the curl so that it should be ready to roll out think that by the end of this weekend i will be able to take this curl down from the jack stands and actually try to drive it out and see i think monday monday will be the day I actually drive this curl but tomorrow i will see if since my battery pack my 20 to 22 kilowatt hours has been installed in the car right now Tomorrow I'll be doing all the connections. How am I doing the connections? Let me show you guys. You see, these are the brass that I'm going to use. This, this is a brass that I'm going to use in connecting the batteries together in order to connect them in series. So what I do is I create two holes in order to connect the batteries in series so let's take a close look on it and actually see how i do it once again let's take a look on the trunk uh, here we have 12 models of these cells on our trunk which is roughly 22 kilowatt hours but i don't know i'm just saying you know what let's take a look we're gonna find out tomorrow or after tomorrow if it is actually 22 kilowatt hours as i'm saying i've been trying i've been trying so hard testing the capacity of my individual cells and uh, i think everything is right up to now but let's take a look i want to show you from how i'm connecting my cells my models together so let's take off these two. Okay, here guys, this is my plexiglass. This is a plexiglass that actually separate the battery's owner from the ones that I'm going to put on top of it. So what I do is I have First of all, I have 10 models here, right here. 
and uh, every model is being separated by a plexiglass that is the choice and uh, how am i going to connect this batteries in series i'm connecting in series using my brass metal right here in which i make two holes on each one i'm going to use a cutting wheel in order to cut it half then i'm going to connect these cells using this brass right here nice after when i connected these ones together i'm going to use this plexiglass in order to separate them and i'm going to separate them why am i separating it with a plexiglass it is a non-conductive material so i have to use it in order to separate the conductive material with a non-conductive material so second one in order to add the number 12 batteries here behind i'm going to this is the design that i am planning to use so by tomorrow i have to start connecting everything together and on on this space i have calculated it it will hold about 200 this empty space will hold about 240 cells so i decided to today i finally decided to create a 2 volt battery that has 240 cells in which there will be three models together which will be 80 cells per model which will give me 240 so let's see since i have cells that i've separated testing the capacity of it and uh, the capacity of those individual cells range from 2000 milliamps to 2235 milliamps so i decided to separate those cells in order to create my 2 volt battery with it so i think that my 2 volt battery will be longer enough to fit this space and third my Elcon charger will be on top of the whole cells. So, as I told you, there are two black boxes for the MG Midget at the rear. Let's take a look on the black box that is directly behind the seats. Take a look, guys, and please share my videos with your friends and families. And uh, let me know if there's anything I have to improve on hey guys as i said this is the second black box installed on the rear of the seats this one is going to carry my eight models which is, it is separated by a plexiglass each model is still separated by a plexiglass guys as you see and uh, the last thing I've been doing, I've been doing my quality control to make sure all the fuses being connected to each one another is still intact. And the next sales that I am working on as the long version, the design that you saw, I am actually going to install it in the front of the MG Midget. That doesn't mean that I'm going to connect 40 cells in series. No, these ones, which are 20, on the rear i'm going to parallel them like negative to negative negative to negative negative to negative which will give me 10 models and the front i'm going to do the same thing negative to negative which will give me 10 models how many models are we going to have 20. what does that mean that i'm going to keep the same voltage i'm going to increase in capacity hey guys this is my 20 models installed finally installed and tomorrow i will continue with my connections to make sure i series the batteries and uh, maybe as i said maybe sunday or monday we're gonna be trying to drive this car out of here 
with laptop recyclable laptop batteries 100 percent this may be the first car in the world that is going to be driven 100 percent with laptop batteries at least the first mg midget 1979 in the world that's going to be driven by recyclable laptop batteries please share the videos with your friends and family that is the only favor i ask you guys look under the video on the right hand side you're gonna see those thumbs up please click it subscribe to my videos if you look directly in front of it you will see a little bell if you click on it it will highlight it so that anytime i upload a video a message will come over to your phone so you can actually watch it on anything you subscribe with thank you very much i hope you are having a high quality time where you are right now even if you are not having a high quality time please smile have fun there's no reason to be sought have fun and create something become a member of a diy family thank you very much